We started out thinking, oh, we're just going to help put furniture in the homes of those that need it. But what we saw happening was, wow, people are, people's lives are being changed here. Ours, the volunteers who are helping us get the furniture out, the people who are donating the furniture, we're all being changed by this. But it's still good, it's still useful, and someone might need it. Those three reasons is why the Green Chair was born. We saw in the community that there was in fact need, but there wasn't a vehicle in Raleigh to match those things that people no longer needed with people who were actually in need. It's really remarkable to see something that's been sitting in your attic that you could, had a hard time parting with, perhaps. Seeing that put right into the hands of somebody that's in need and somebody that um, it can make a difference in their lives, that's an amazing thing. I came here through a program, Step Up Ministry. I started there looking for a job because I do have a felony, so it was very hard for me to find employment. Um, I found out about Step Up. They have a jobs class where you take once a week. And they teach you different skills, so I was able to find employment. And so I just graduated from there Thursday, and to me this is kind of like an uh, extra graduation gift for that, just being able to participate in it and not only us, me and my son, complete a program, but be able to come to a home and a fully furnished home. So, When a participant comes, they pay a furnishing fee, and the furnishing fee um, is fairly minimal. For about $200, you can furnish a one-bedroom apartment. We think that it's important for people to feel ownership of the furniture, to feel proud of it. It's really not a handout, it's a hand up. So these are our kitchen packs. They're all set up by the size. Okay. So we have, um, this is a set for si like six place settings. These are four place settings and then down there are eight place settings. Okay. And what you get basically is this entire sample that's behind you. Um, you get, oh. um, it's salt and pepper shakers and utensils and glasses and um, I mean, it's, it's a whole set. The whole list is right here. We have come up with a list of um, everything needed in a basic kitchen. We've got dishes and glasses, cups, silverware um, here. And then when we get a pack put together, we um, put together a display basket. I'm retired as a food stylist where I was setting up um, things for photography and production companies to make food and tables look beautiful, so this is kind of an extension of that, and it's fun to still have the creativity. We didn't want the families who came here to feel like they were leaving with, quote, better than nothing. We wanted them to feel like they were in charge, that they were able to make decisions. But look, this chair right here comes with this. And you like pink. <laughs> I think the greatest joy that I experience at the Green Chair is when I get to talk to the clients, work with the clients, when I get to talk with the volunteers and work alongside of them, when I get to greet the furniture donors and write their receipts, because I can see in each one of them how maybe their lives are changed just a little bit by the Green Chair Project. That they, they, they get it, that they see the sense of meaning in, behind what we do. Whether it's getting rid of, of your stuff and putting it to good use, or the meaning of using your unique talents as a volunteer, or it's the participants who are coming through and see, wow, they're celebrating my recovery. This is a community that really cares what gives me the most joy out of this experience is, I have to say, just being able to provide for my family, being able to give them safe housing, being able to, for us to wake up and not have the stress of trying to furnish a brand new home after having to pay to get in the home. So now we'll be, we'll be able to just wake up and start our new beginnings just like everyone else starts their daily lives. So it's, it's rewarding, it's gonna be challenging, but at the end of the day, it's just a blessing that I think we'll all cherish. So I'm excited. I'm truly excited about this.